So I wanted to share with you my journey as a student for the last 50 years. Even though this award is for being a professor, right? Uh, so some of the things kind of have accumulated over a period of years. Uh, so I grew up in Mulun, which is about 10 kilometers from here. Um, and you know, my first grade teacher, I'm still in touch with her, uh, Kakatkar. And then, um, you know, the school teachers from my Purandari High School, they had a very uh, lasting impact. I cannot take all of their names. Um, specifically, uh, there was one particular teacher, um, Mr. Gadkari, and he would teach us English. Um, and you know, I came from vernacular medium, and uh, you know, I just went, went to his class and I just loved him. So, um, and I was addicted to his style. And learning English and not, no other uh, classes that I took, um, I, I learned a lot from him about how to be a good human being. Um, my parents, my mother is the foremost, like, you know, what she taught me was how to, how to keep things simple, as simple as that. She couldn't come here today because she's not well. Uh, my father, uh, he's here, uh, he used to work at, at Sachiva and he would work almost till 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And then after he came back home, he would teach uh, the neighborhood kids and I would be watching him. So he's one of the, the inspiration for me. Uh, about how to teach and how to be dedicated and you can't forget yourself doesn't matter what time of the night it is um, and literally you know people would come and stay at our place uh, to learn from him um, my entry to IIT Bombay was a very accidental entry uh, I probably have shared that story somewhere else uh, but um, you will be surprised to know that uh, about 38 years ago I took CS 101 and no one else but Professor Fata and he was uh, you know he was uh, very handsome um, and he was very impressionable uh, with his cigarettes. Um, I mean, you know, if you know how, how you, you, like, I think they just told you how he's imitating me, right? I mean, uh, many of the students are imitating you. We tried that with the cigarettes also, but kind of, with some of us it worked, some of us it didn't work. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and he was just amazing. I mean, he had such an impact as a first uh, first professor at IIT Bombay to have Professor Patak. We were so fortunate. And you know his delivery style. And I think at that time the classes used to be in convocation hall for the entire entire batch. Yeah. Yes. So I was one of the students at that time. Um, professor Sandorva and Professor Vasi. Um, they were also part of our department um, and they had a you know very strong impact on me. I learned so many things from them as a student. And um, after I uh, went for higher education at Carnegie Mellon University in US, uh, I met Professor Olstock. And uh, you know, I had an opportunity to spend a lot of close time with him just like I'm spending a lot of time with my students. And I learned so much from him. As a best teacher, you know how he dealt with students, how he, how engaged he was with, uh, with the students. And the interesting story I'll share with you is that he was always, uh, you know, selected as the best teacher. And one time, one time, uh, the students selected me, and they took me out for dinner. And he was so unhappy that they actually took me out for dinner. Nobody has ever done that for me. So I mean, of course, in a funny way. And he still shares that story. So um, I kind of got hooked uh, to teaching. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, I, I went on to work in the industry, um, and you know it was always that pull was there to come back to, to come back to university. But um, I, it was like n plus one, right? So I, I ended up working for more than twenty years in US um, and in India as well. And um, you know one of the things happened when I was doing my PhD, I got married, and then it was uh, kind of you know. I was a perpetual intern at that time, student intern. Um, I learned a lot from my wife and then my kids, Ishan and uh, Samiha, they never lose an opportunity to teach me something. So uh, always a learning experience from them as well. I, I learned like all the, uh, what is going on right now with the recent Gen, Gen X or Gen Z or, or all those things right from them. Uh, various companies where I worked um, during uh, you know, my, uh, my stint in US, I have worked with maybe more than 500 colleagues, but each one of them has left some impression for me. I learned something from them. Um, and you know, it's not like um, many times you learn uh, positive things, you also learn negative things. So you 
you learn what not to do from many people. And you know, it's always good to good to understand the consequences. So I would just share that with you that you know, don't just um, observe, you, you pick on all these things. Um, one of the exciting times was to build products uh, while uh, while I was in the industry. And you know, that's the uh, those are the things uh, you know I'm trying to do here in my second innings at IG Bombay. Um, as a teacher, um, it's an extremely rewarding experience for me to be here. Um, you know, the the complexion of the students has changed substantially since my time. Um, and you know, I get a chance to spend time each semester with hundreds of students. Um, many times, uh, you know, a lot of one-on-one -on -one discussions with them. And one key message I try to give them all the time is, you know, how do you, um, students are always looking at me for advice. Also, you have spent so much time in just give me some advice. And uh, so that they can blame if something goes wrong, right? You told me so. So um, all I try to tell them is that you have to make your own decisions. And you know, with, there will be a lot of incomplete information, but that's okay. You can still make the decisions. And you know, you can own up your decisions. Let's, you know, my parents are here, but you should not let your parents make decisions for you. You have to make decisions, right? I think all of you know that. Uh, we are going into it. So, thanks to all of you, I truly feel young and alive being here with you. Um, you know, getting these teachers' uh, uh, excellence in uh, teaching award is a recognition for me that I'm doing something right. And I'm kind of going in general right direction. So, uh, you know, 50% of the contribution of this award goes to my awesome teachers. I don't call them teaching assistant, I call them awesome teaching assistant. So give them a big round of applause. Uh, and I think many of you have been my students, I think you know how, uh, how they conduct um, I think they have more power than me as an instructor. Uh, they really control the, the classroom activities. Um, and again, uh, thank you uh, to the E fraternity, Professor uh, Chatterjee, uh, for this wonderful celebration. Uh, I'm, I'm very obliged to you for this. Thank you so much. And also congratulations to Narendra, Sarva, and Jipan. Thank you.